Well, the company used to be formerly known as Virgil Coffee, um, and I set that out back in, I guess, 2001 when I really started it, and I used to go around um, lots of markets and food fairs and festivals with a decorating table and a coffee machine and just start selling coffee um, just because I used to live in Australia and I coming back here in sort of 2000 there was just big chains and no sort of nice independent coffee bars and just really hard to find a cup of coffee so um, that's sort of how I started and you know having no money that was the kind of cheapest way to kind of get off the ground. Well, we source, we, we basically buy only specialty grade coffees, um, so we're paying a lot more money for that. We just go for the more premium ends of coffee, so the farmer always gets paid a little bit more. Um, these are, this is, this is what a green bean, there's not a lot of, you know, if you smell it, there's, there's not a lot going on there. So the idea of roasting is, is you're basically bringing out the flavours, you're trying to bring out the best flavour. This is a this is a monsoon Malabar coffee, which we use a little, little bit in our blend at the moment, and it's a very distinct coffee, um, and it's aged in in wood sheds in India, and it's uh, basically they wait for the monsoons, it floods, and and this is how it takes on this sort of different look. And then to our roaster, I guess what sort of. Uh, you know, makes makes the point of difference between us and a, and a larger roaster. There's a lot more care and detail goes into every single thing that we do. So, you know, when we, when we get a bean, we we sample roast it, and we cup it, and we make sure that it's a good coffee to start with, and then we we try to roast it to the to the best way to bring out the best flavour. So, um, and we'd set a profile on our machine, and and the idea is, you know, different coffees have different profiles. So. So this is this is the roaster. This is where the coffee gets put in, um, and then basically it gets dropped at a certain temperature. So we'd set, we'd have a profile. So we'd have a, like a drop temperature, and then we have a thermometer in here which monitors the the, the temperature at constantly on this device here. We wrap roast in very small batches, so so we have to be a lot more. There's a lot more skill involved in doing this kind of roasting rather because consistency is obviously the key. So the idea is to, to roast the coffee very evenly um, and at certain points there's, there's, there's like what's called the first crack and that's when the bean splits open and um, starts to, you know, start to smell and taste like coffee.